Thing's dead. I have to pull start it. cell phone no phone scope so I'm gonna buzz back down with the truck go pick up my phone scope and uh, I'll meet Martin right back here so catch you later time it's still a little dark too dark to glass so I think we'll hit the backpacks and get a little elevation so we can see a little better This spot will do. It's not very flat. I was thinking what it was going to be. So we're gonna post up with the scopes, get the binos up, and we made it just in time for first light. So let's uh, find a big buck. Some cool looking hot country. Been a pretty slow morning, guys. It's uh, super, super, windy down at the mouth of the canyon where we started if you watch this uh phone scope clip right here with this buck look behind it look at the brush behind the buck it is so windy over there even these two bucks that we had across the canyon were looking super confused and right at first light they literally hit a patch of pine trees went in there and bedded down so those two bucks were the first um, bucks we saw and then outside of that we just saw a handful of does so Really slow morning. I think it has a lot to do with the clear skies last night and the extreme wind this morning. But nice little four-wheeler ride up here and I got some really cool phone scope of the moon. You could see so much detail in this dang thing and I don't know how far away the moon is, but if anybody's wondering what it looks like to film through the phone scope with an iPhone, here you go. I just pulled out my snack sticks. We're just kind of munching up here. It's still just first light. We're really just hoping that more deer will will pop up, but these are the snack sticks I made. These are the ones with the casings. Pretty dang good. I think I'm a fan of the uh, the thinner ones without the casings. They're really more like a jerky stick. And these are more like a snack stick, like a big chunk of meat, but pretty dang good for what they are. I think we'll just sit here, snack a little bit. Martin's up on the glass and uh, we'll do an evening glass too tonight. Hopefully we can see more deer. Hopefully more deer are moving. We'll try to bomb up the canyon a little higher for the evening and, and see what else we can spot. <laughs> Just need, you gotta get a snack now while we're going down this treacherous beast.
dad bought a new four wheeler. <laughs> he did? Mm -hmm. What'd he find? The Bombardier. Who makes that? No, now called Can-Am. Why would you not want the Honda? He bought it, it's a two-seater. Oh, nice. So where this rack is here, it's actually a big seat mm -hmm. and it's six inches longer. Um, it's pretty cool, but he said like for my mom, like he could take her ride. Yeah. Maybe the dog too, but it's pretty nice. Get great shape. They Some people drove it up from Arizona. Oh, cool. So. Let's see if my battery got charged at all during the drive. Nope. It's a good thing this thing has a pull start. Holy cow. <laughs> Bit of a tight spot here. In like a flash of a second, I was all of a sudden turned the wrong direction. Oh, it's a little steep. <laughs> dude, that's sketchy. Just lean forward, dude, and put that popping into neutral. I'll kind of push down right here. Just ride your front brake. <laughs> sketchy. Eric just about flipped right there. Dude, that was no good. With that snow, and I gunned it, and it just went <laughs> if that thing wasn't there, that kind of caught me almost. <laughs> Holy cow. Go on, I would err on, like err on the your right side. <clears throat> err on your right side. And then just kind of be on the that lip. Yeah. Well, after a little bit of a four-wheeler ride, we came up here and Martin just happened to look back and make a really good spot on two nice four-point bucks. And they are over there across the canyon and it looks super windy where they're at. We're just getting some phone scope footage of them now. But pretty cool to see because we saw the one buck come out of the pine and then he moved below these rock cliffs and bedded and now the second buck is doing the exact same thing so they're going right underneath this cliff edge and if he's going to bed right by that one they're going to be right out in the wide open which is just really cool seeing him there like that but man i think they're getting underneath that cliff to get out of the wind because when he was over by the pine tree you can see the pine tree was just going nuts so he has moved and just bedded down by that first buck so yeah two nice solid four points bedded down together underneath the cliff but that would be a heck of a hike to get up there. Good spotting by the Martin Chag. Here he is, this little head. <laughs> that was cool, man. It's been a fun ride just coming up here on the four-wheeler and really exploring new country, seeing new country. We've seen the two bucks and the beginning, these two, and then these other two that are like bedded in the shell rock. So six bucks so far and Martin saw a seventh. We just haven't been able to relocate him and get and uh, get good eyes on them yet. You guys need a cold place to hang out and cool down up here in the summer heat. This will be the spot for it. High Country Creek runs right through this snow patch and it's burned out a whole like cave through it. Check this out. Still pretty strong. Woo! Yeah, that's cool.
No way. There's the other end up there. How cool. Dang, dude, this is like free air conditioner right here. <laughs> That's sweet. I could camp it right here. Yeah, this is where you need to camp. Look at that. Pretty neat. What a solid day up here in the high country. We have seen three shooter bucks, at least three deer I would consider shooters. Probably not Martin, but uh, three nice bucks, all four points. And this last four point Martin spotted feeding up in this really high basin, right below this rocky ledge. And we got some phone scope footage of him. So Martin is a spotting machine today. I guess I was feeling a little too lazy and discouraged, but Martin found some really nice bucks, including this last one. Play some video right now over the phone scope. Looks like yeah, he's gonna he's finish out strong, good. right? He's got some good yeah. fronts. Probably stay a four point, but like pretty nice. And then like a really good potential buck. You could see he's got the, got the balled up mass. Like he might grow extras in future years if he ever made it. But like a dang good buck right now, it is. He was feeding off this one bush for quite a while. I got a time lapse of him just mowing it down. We got some video of him there for a while, but super nice buck. Definitely need to probably keep an eye on him. Sure. We're gonna head off the mountain and we'll catch up to you guys at the bottom. Man, it feels good to get up here out of the summer heat down in the valley. Cruise the quad a little bit and uh, just kind of take it easy. What's cool about the unit I have a tag in is it's a really big unit. And once you get out of the watershed, there's a lot of four wheeler trails, single track motorcycle trails up here. A uh, pretty popular spot just being so close to the Provo Valley, but um, a lot of campers down at the bottom. But once you get up in the high country, just like we did, you can see you can find bucks. Now I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of hunters up here since there is road access, but still a good spot, kind of a backup plan. At least we'll have somewhere to go uh, down on this side of the unit, but just a good day on the mountain today. I'm gonna bomb off of here and maybe go get a hamburger and a milkshake. Feeling like I've earned it. Doing really good on my diet and exercise routine for the summer, so I've already reached my goal and I'm three and a half weeks out from when I set that goal, which was to be 170 pounds. So it's time to go get a cheat meal and refeed.